Welcome to the Know It All, where you get all the week's news in one go. I'm Ashley Jenkins. It's been, well, kind of a game-centric week. Actually, it's been a pretty completely game-centric week, unless you're into announcements like the 21 Jump Street and Men in Black getting crossover, or freaking out about how the Joker looks, I guess. Otherwise, it's all games, so let's get to it. Remember last week we shared that Steam began supporting paid mods for Skyrim, right? Yeah, that lasted about as long as ice cream in the sun at the beginning of the week. Valve pulled the plug on the program, admitting they uh, didn't know what they were doing. And so the status quo has returned, sort of. We're actually likely to see this pop up again in the future, just not with Skyrim. More likely, Valve will use one of their own games, since, as they pointed out in their apology, they understand their own game communities a little better. This week also saw the end of Silent Hills. Unfortunately, uh, fans have been concerned about it since Konami began erasing Hideo Kojima's name from Metal Gear Solid marketing materials, which then, of course, led to the discovery that he'll be leaving the company once the Phantom Pain launches. But Phantom Pain wasn't the only game he was working on. There was Silent Hills, his project in collaboration with Pacific Rim's Guillermo del Toro, whose name, I think I actually pronounced that right. Yeah, it's the first time. Last year, they released PT, a playable teaser, to announce the game and really got everybody super excited about it. Unfortunately, now it's officially canceled and PT has been delisted from the PSN store, which has led right to about a really enterprising capitalism. Ebay. Do you remember when Flappy Bird got pulled from the iOS store and people started selling their phones with it installed for thousands of dollars? Think that, except with PS4s and PT. Hundreds of PS4 consoles with the demo installed have been listed on this site, and you guys, they're selling for thousands of dollars. One sold yesterday for $2,000, a bunch of other ones went for $1,500, and another dozen for $1,000. People are crazy. And PT isn't the only thing on the chopping block. Remember Ouya, the uh, Kickstarter darling? Yeah, that's also going to sleep with the dinosaurs and is gonna keep Silent Hill's company. A leaked email from company CEO Julie Ehrman reveals that the company is deep in debt and is on the hunt for a buyer, like quick. Like they're hoping to have one around now since the email was initially sent at the beginning of April. Given that the company just raised $10 million a few months ago after raising $8.5 million on Kickstarter and another $15 million from investors in 2013, yet somehow they're in debt? Hey guys, time to put your Ouya on eBay for thousands of dollars. Just kidding, nobody's paying that, don't do it. But it's not all doom and gloom, you'd be forgiven for thinking so because there was a lot of that, but not all. There are also some new beginnings. Five Nights at Freddy's 4 has officially been announced by creator Scott Cawthon, punching a great big hole in poor MatPat's game theory since it turns out the series isn't finished after all. But hey, those who get really into the backstory are about to get that much more to chew on and then MatPat can make another video. Yay! The game is called Five Nights at Freddy's 4, the final chapter, and will be out on Halloween. But before you go thinking that this time maybe it really is the end, Maybe it's not. As folks in our comments pointed out, there was a Friday the 13th movie called The Final Chapter, and that was anything but final, so I guess we'll see. We've also got GTA mods on PC. Yeah, we've got whales everywhere, we've got floppy people, we've got riot mobs. It's no Skyrim, not yet, but there's been a script hook that's been released which is letting modders tweak existing assets in the game. You can't create new stuff yet, but just give that time. At least there are whales always boils. Unfortunately though, since GTA 5 also has GTA Online, modding is also leading to banning. Rockstar has informally ruled that cosmetic mods are fine, but if you go into the game in online with anything that changes the way it plays, that's a bannable offense and you're gonna get booted from GTA Online with no hope of forgiveness. You can still mess around in single player though, so there's that. And in yet more good news, I guess I would classify it as good news. Anyway, the World Video Game Hall of Fame is about to get its first inductees, and 15 finalists have been announced. These include classics like Legend of Zelda, Pac-Man, Pokemon, Space Invaders, and Tetris. And then there's Angry Birds. The games have been selected for their icon status, longevity, geographical reach, and influence, and the final inductee, or inductees rather since they may do more than one, will be chosen on June 4th. 
We've got other news today that's not finished yet, or at least not at the time of filming this. So just trust to this annotation and this annotation for all the details. We're tackling the new tech demo from Square Enix that's climbing its way out of the uncanny valley and into some pretty crazy new graphical territory. And also the increasingly disturbing trend of DLC season passes bringing the cost of games up to a hundred dollars. What? For more game talk, join us on the patch. This week we discuss whether paid mods are really all that evil, or if they're just misunderstood. We chew on the whole Silent Hill situation, and we try and guess which superheroes will feature in the Marvel Telltale game that was just announced, since it can't be a hero that would affect the cinematic universe, but we also don't want to play someone lame. If you have ideas, leave them in the comments. On Game Club this week, we tackled Child of Light, an indie style game put out by Ubisoft about a year ago, and shared our thoughts on our experiences playing it. Oh, and Josh's ponytail looks fabulous! On leaderboard, Hylam is stepping down as the leader of Cloud9, Valve is trying to clean up the Dota 2 competitive scene, and Heroes of the Storm made a kind of controversial splash over the weekend when ESPN2 aired a university tournament for the game. And finally, it's a new month, and that means a new slate of game releases thanks to coming soon. The only one on the list I care about is The Witcher 3, and I don't know why I should probably play the first two games, like, stat, but I do care. Anyway, that's the news for this week. For all the details and to get the news fresh, join us over on The Know, where we news every day, and we'll see you next week with another wrap-up. Have a great weekend. Don't do a darn thing. Just play games. It'll be perfect. <laughs> Five minutes, right?